Uh, I've always believed, and I think most have believed, that what you measure, you improve, and what you measure and report, you really improve. And in order to be, to be able to measure something accurately, you have to have a standard to measure against. So about 10 or 12 years ago, Idaho went through the process of developing academic standards for our schools and went through the whole process of building them, reviewing them, and having them approved by the state board and then ultimately approved by the legislature. And our, so our schools all across Idaho have been teaching to these state academic standards for over a decade. And what that gives us the ability to do is measure students' success against those standards and then report it. And by reporting it, then parents can see how is my school, how is my child doing compared to another school in Idaho. And it's been very, very helpful to raise the level of accountability and transparency in education. And what, we, what we've had for the past 10 years or so is uh, 50 states, and each of them had their own academic standards. So it was very difficult to compare state to state. We could compare uh, a school here in Boise with a school in Idaho Falls and in Coeur d'Alene, but we couldn't compare it to a school in Ontario, just 40 or 50 miles away. And so we wanted to be able to raise the level of accountability, raise transparency by having standards that were common among schools, uh, among states, so that then we could measure and compare our schools and how our students are doing academically. And so uh, in a bunch of, uh, a handful of states, which led to many states, Idaho being one of the first states, began the conversation back in 2007 about voluntarily working together to create common standards in math and English and language usage. And uh, that has grown now in, in, into where we have over 40 states that are working together. And now parents in Idaho will know how their children are doing, not just compared to other schools and other children in Idaho, but actually how they're doing compared to schools in, in many other states around the country. And I think that's absolutely critical because we know our students in Idaho, they're not going to compete with just students in Idaho. They're going to compete with students all across the country for the jobs of the future, and we want to make sure that our kids are prepared. These standards help us accomplish that. Uh, one of the original uh, complaints or pushbacks we got mm -hmm. against, the, uh, uh, against these core standards was that somehow that the legislature had, w wasn't aware of these, that there wasn't a process, that they were just kind of sprung on Idahoans. Uh -huh. N now you don't hear that so much because the, 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 the people that were saying that, now they know the facts, that we actually started this process in 2007. It was a multi-year process of developing these standards. Eventually, they were adopted in Idaho uh, almost two years ago, and before they were adopted, there was almost two dozen town hall meetings held across the state. We gathered input from educators, from parents, from uh, school board uh, representatives. Uh, uh, eventually then they went to the, to the state board who held another series of, uh, uh, of meetings around the state and they had a public comment period. And then they went to the legislature that did the same thing. So this has been a very transparent, long process before these were even adopted. And like I said, the, the legislature has weighed in, the State Board of Education has weighed in. Uh, we held uh, a couple dozen meetings all across the state where parents and others could weigh in and, and know what these standards are, know what their, the goal is and, uh, and what their intent uh, of these standards are. Yeah, I mean, this started before students yeah. come first, right? And, uh, but, but the foundation of any high, highly effective, high quality education system our high academic standards and high expectations for students and high expectations for the education system itself. And that's what these standards have done is we've taken our academic standards and we've raised them considerably. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and a good way for people to kind of get their head around this is, is uh, basically what we were teaching sixth graders in math, we're now going to have to start teaching fourth graders. That's how far behind our academic standards were in Idaho in preparing our kids for the world that awaits them, whether they choose to go to college, whether they choose to go into the workforce, whatever they choose to do, we realized that we were not holding our students to a high enough academic standard. And so they would graduate from high school, we would give them a diploma because they met our standards and they met our requirements, and then they would go off to college and too many of them would need remediation when they got there or they would go to the workplace and their employers were frustrated because they didn't have the basic skills they needed to be successful. So part of adopting these core standards is we've raised them uh, considerably and, and, and it is part 
of the transparent accountability that we talked about in Students Come First, where uh, th there is more information that is readily available and easy to, under easy to understand for parents and patrons uh, and students themselves. And part of transparent accountability is that we know how students are doing academically, we know how the schools are doing academically, we can compare those schools with other schools in Idaho and now even other schools in many other states. And I, I think that that was, is going to be very, very helpful. I think it's important for Idahoans to realize that currently the only way we can compare our schools against schools in other states is by how much money we spend per child. Right, that's the only common measure we have. This adds another dimension where it's not just how much you spend per child that determines the quality of your education when compared to another state, but how are your students doing academically? And I'm excited about the opportunity to have that, uh, that uh, measure and, and that ability to compare how our students are doing academically with other states and move away from just always talking about Idaho's uh, quality of education based on how much we spend per child.